Diodes are the most basic semiconductors. They have the peculiar ability to conduct current into one direction only. This can be seen when we apply a range of voltages to the diode and record the current. If we then plot the current over voltage, we get a curve looking like an exponential function. And indeed, the current is determined by an exponential function, as our friends over at the physics department have shown. This exponential function might be right and true, but it's quite unwieldy for electronic circuit design. But for our first hand calculations and design drafts, the precise current is often not important. So we simplify things a little bit. What we do is to split the current voltage curve into two parts. Towards negative voltages and around zero volts, the current is approximately zero amps. We can think of the diode here as an open. Towards positive voltages, the current increases exponentially. The increase is so high that we can consider this part to be kind of a short. But where is this crossover? Well, that depends on what your currents through the diode will be, or rather your current densities. For typical diodes, the useful range of currents is in the microamps to milliamps range, and the corresponding voltage is approximately 0.7 volts. Instead of dealing with the entire exponential function, we simply use two linear functions. For voltages below 0.7 volts, we consider our diode to be an open. While for voltages above 0.7 volts, the diode behaves like a short. To represent the 0.7 volt threshold, we add a voltage source to the short. During circuit analysis, we simply check the voltage over the diodes. In this example, it's fairly obvious that the voltage at D1 will be larger than 0.7 volts, but the voltage at D2 will be smaller than 0.7 volts. We replace the diodes by a short or open accordingly to get a simplified version of the circuit. Now the voltage over resistor R and eventually the current can easily be determined. For more complex circuits or less obvious examples, simply assume if a diode is conducting or not. Do your calculations as usual and check your assumptions at the end. Of course, conducting diode should have a current flowing in forward direction while a non-conducting diode has a voltage drop smaller than 0.7 volts. If your assumption does not hold for all diodes, simply guess again. You will get the result eventually. Now, here's something for you to ponder on. Which of the diodes is going to conduct? What's the voltage Vr over resistor R? To close this video, here's a mean one. Again, which of the diodes is going to conduct? What's the voltage Vr over resistor R?